to keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi there, this is Chris from footballbetdata.com. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to use the new slicer functionality with football output. So slicers are something we've introduced recently to our um, racing daily download files um, and we will be adding to our football daily download file over the coming months. Um, but this video is intended to show you how you can use them yourself uh, in conjunction with data output and some of our example downloads. So I've navigated to the data archive, um, logged in as an advanced member, as you can see here. And for the video demonstration, I'm going to use the Japanese J League, um, leaving everything else as default. And I'm going to select the current season uh, and the previous nine. So we've got 10 seasons in all um, and output that to straight to Excel. Uh, and I'm also gonna use one of our example downloads, which um, is the first goal time uh, download. So navigate to the example downloads and first goal. So I'm going to download that file as well. Uh, and we have those open up now. So we have the first goal uh, download example, which had some data from the English Premier League from 1718 season. Uh, and we're gonna paste over the top with the data that we've just exported from the Japanese J League last 10 seasons. So we can, I didn't wanna do a copy there. So we can just select the full data range from uh, A to BT and paste that over the top. Okay, and that should automatically populate. So as it's in chronological order, actually starting oldest, uh, newest date through to oldest, we've got a load of games that haven't yet been played. So we've not got any data for those. Um, and I'm just gonna drag this all the way down to ensure that it populates right to the bottom of the data set where we do have um, games that have completed and that's right to the bottom, 3,133 lines in total. So the formula has now been dragged down. Um, we obviously have the data here. We've already looked at these sort of things. Uh, I just need to do a refresh on that if we wanted to look at the, um, the goal brackets in terms of where the first goal was scored in the Japanese J League over the last 10 seasons. But that's not what the video is about. Uh, what we're going to do is look at how we can introduce some slices um, and to do that first, we need to uh, import uh, and create a pivot table. I, I could rename this tab. I'm just leaving it here for the purpose of the video. I'm not going to, we could rename that. I know it says the English uh, English Premier League from season 1718, but it, it's irrelevant really what it says. Um, so we need to select the full data range, which uh, is from column A to BX. Uh, select OK, and that gives us our pivot table fields. And this is where we select what we want to see in our output table. Um, and you can put in here what you want to see. Um, it's purely um, user, user discretion, really. Um, I'm going to select the results. I'm going to select the uh, predicted score and maybe the uh, halftime result as well. Okay, so I've selected a few items in there now, um, and I'm just going to change the, the layout as we do before, change it to tabular, uh, repeat all lines. And I'm just going to go through and take off all these subtotals that we don't need um, in the display table in this instance. Take off all of those. Uh, and actually, I'm just going to change the halftime half -time result. Field. Let's take that one out. So uh, we're showing the score rather than the actual result. Okay. So we've got our data output table there. Um, and like I said, we can include as many of these um, column filters as uh, column headers as output rows as we want. I'm going to leave it simple. Um, and then the next step is inserting the slicers. So we go to analyze as long as you clicked on the pivot table and insert slicer. Now these are the filter controls that we can use. 
Um, and I'm going to select uh, score prediction, um, halftime result, uh, time of first goal. I'm going to use the, so these are the calculation columns and the brackets. So we've got a few there to, to choose from. I'm just going to make this uh, file a little bit smaller so we can try and fit some of these uh, into the, the viewing pane. And there we go. So what we're going to look at here, we can look at games where, let's look for where the, the home team is predicted to win 3-0. Um, so that's obviously pre-game prediction. Um, and let's see what uh, the the output is where we have a first goal um, scored in, let's say the, the home team scores a goal in the first 20 minutes. So there you go. So we have uh, in our output table um, eight games where the home where the score prediction was three nil, um, and the home team scored the first goal um, in the first in sorry twenty minutes. You can see there that every one of those games ended up being a home win. Um, we did have one game here where the away team were leading. Uh, at half time, but the home team obviously turned that around. Now we can add in some additional um, output here if we like. Um, so what we need to do is add in a couple of extra columns if we wanted to look at the, the result. Uh, let's pop the result at the end there. So just take off that, that filter and we'll just shove this across to the right hand side a wee bit. So if we wanted to look at how many times the game ended with a home win, a draw or an away win, uh, we can say equals count if. And there's the range and we want to see if it's a home win. So you can see it's eight, zero, zero. Uh, we could put a little subtotal on that and then you can do a um, quick sum, remembering to put the dollar marks in there, convert that to a percentage. And in this instance, you can see 100% of the time um, the game finished uh, with the home team um, victorious. Let's clear these filters and have a look at another example. So let's say where the score prediction is nil nil uh, and let's see the halftime result was nil nil. So here we have 21 games um, and you can see from the from the output here, the, the score prediction was nil nil, halftime result was nil nil, uh, and we have an equal split of home wins and draws. And the step you could take further from this is to do to convert this to to, to odds, which is do a one and divided by the uh, percent sign. And that gives you the the true odds um, of what has occurred in the past over these 10 seasons. So you can see that potentially if you were looking at a, a, at a game where the score prediction was nil-nil, the score at half time was nil-nil, um, and the odds on the draw were above 2.1, then there's scope there to potentially uh, say there's value for, for a drawback uh, bet. But obviously you need to take into consideration that the flow of the game, has there been a sending off? Um, is there injuries, um, whether there's anything riding on the game, is there a relegation promotion, are the teams more likely to play out for a draw, um, those sort of things you need to consider aside from the data itself. So that is a very quick, simple video to show you how you can one, use our um, example download, which is free to download from the website in conjunction with our um, data archive output that you can pop into the uh, uh, the example download, and then from that you can create a pivot table with as many columns and output controls as you like, uh, and similarly, um, as many filters as you want, slice of filters as you want. Um, so very quick to do, and then you can build on that, and it can give you instant information as you've seen in this video, which is very handy indeed.